I have here on the bench is, uh, or are, depending on which way is grammatically correct, two holsters uh, for two different pistols, as you can see. Um, what they have in common is that they are both hybrid holsters made partially of leather, partially of Kydex, and they are both in the waistband holsters, and they're both single clip models. So they have a lot in common, actually, but they are two different styles uh, or two different manufacturers. But they also have something else in common, and that is that they both need to be adjusted. This holster is uh, virtually has no retention whatsoever. The gun just easily slides in and out, and that is a little less than I prefer. And this holster has a great deal more retention than I prefer. It's a little too tight, and actually I've had the clip come off the belt and have the whole holster come out <laughs> while I'm trying to do a draw. So uh, that one needs to be lightened. So this one has too much retention. This one has not enough retention. And I'm going to attempt, one at a time of course, to adjust those. This will be my first time, so Lord only knows what sort of new adventure I've wandered into. We will give it a shot. I think we will start with this guy. Okay, boys and girls at home, uh, what I'm going to try to do is, using the instructions as I understand them, I am going to attempt to heat a portion of this holster, the Kydex, and only that portion, hopefully, make it uh, malleable so that I can then adjust it a little bit. And when I do that, I will be wearing a glove or a pair of gloves to keep from burning my fingers. So I'm going to use a hair dryer on hot setting and see if I can do this the way it's recommended. I have heated this with a hairdryer on high and hot. Took me a couple of tries to sort of get the feel for how to heat it. <clears throat> you do want to wear a glove because that Kydex does get quite warm. You want to cover everything that you don't want heated with a wet, cold towel, as I did there. Okay, so I heated this up, and uh, the key area for retention on holsters of this design is basically your trigger guard. Um, and the idea is to push the kydex down so that there's a detention um, that goes into the trigger guard that makes friction, makes it, gives you some resistance to, uh, to the gun sliding in and out. So uh, in this case, when I received the holster, that actually was sort of puffed out or bubbled out, if you will, uh, was sort of the opposite of, of the convex that you're looking for there. So I heated it up and um, used my thumb with a glove on again just to protect myself from burning burning me against the plastic and, and just push that down gently. And I did. it took me two tries because the first time you don't want to overdo it. I'd rather err on the side of caution. So I pushed gently down found that I still wanted to have a little bit more uh, retention, so I heated it again and, and uh, pushed it down even further the second time. And I think that might be close to where I want it. I just, it still, it still won't hold the, the weight of an empty gun. And ideally, I would prefer if it would hold the weight of a full gun. But I don't know that I'm going to be able to achieve that. Um, because of the design. Because you don't have as tight a fit to uh, the leather. So this is the Audacity Tactical uh, single clip holster and I have made an adjustment to the tension by heating the Kydex and 
pressing it down into the trigger guard. I've made that change and I don't really want to make much more adjustment there. I think that is adequate. I'm going to follow um, very explicitly the instructions that are provided by Crossbreed and when you, when you buy a holster you, they provide you these instructions. I have read and reread those and I believe I understand them and what I'm going to do is try to loosen up or ease up on the amount of detent that is in this trigger guard because that's your retention that's your main retention point right there that's that's where the resistance comes from so I want to I want less resistance what you need are a couple tools um, you need to have the empty unloaded gun in the holster and that is to make sure you don't um, you know when you warm up heat up the kydex that it, you don't get it out of shape you're able to, to keep the gun in there keep it in shape you need a hair dryer or heat gun if you have a heat gun um, and you need a wet towel and I'm going to need to re-wet this towel it's started to uh, started to dry out on me so you want a cool damp towel and you need work gloves um, because when this thing gets hot you don't want to be playing with it with your your delicate pinkies um, so those are basically the tools you need let's uh, let's get this thing wet again and get this show on the road okay I have re-wet my towel with cold water what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a corner of it, a piece of it, underneath the butt of the gun. Also, to complicate or give me additional consideration, I have Talon rubber grips on this gun. And I certainly don't want to heat that up to the point where it comes off. That would be a bother to have to buy a new one and reinstall it. So. Um, all right, there we go. I am basically just going to let this little bit peek out. It's kind of, sort of like performing surgery. You only expose what you need to expose. I'm going to put my work glove on so that I'll have it on when I'm ready for it. And here we go. Let's see. What we got? Are we loosening up? Yeah, I think we're loosening up a little. Okay, so I'm working the gun in and out because I want to raise that and reduce the amount of retention. So, in order to do that, I sort of want to push up on it a little bit. It's cooled already. So, I'm going to have to see. Hopefully this gun's not too hot. Yeah, I don't know. That might be a little better, but not much. But I'll tell you what, I'm starting to think, I'm starting to think for myself here, and that can, that almost always ends badly. Okay, so, I want to cover all that stuff. This is the hard part, actually, getting everything covered. All right. Let's try it again. Okay, how are we doing here? Getting warm. Okay, we just want to ease up on that retention. And that's what we kind of want to do right there, is just use that trigger guard as a finger on the inside. Push up on that a little bit. Okay, I think we might be might be getting to where we want to be. Okay, how hot is all this stuff? Take the glove off. Okay. Everything. Yeah. I think that is going to be 
real close to how I want it. It still holds the gun, but I can already feel the difference. Yeah, not nearly as tight as it was. It was too tight before, but now that feels. Say that feels just about right. So let's cool that down. All right. I think it's right where I want it now. So that will be awesome. So what I'm going to do is I will use the holster for a while, do some dry training with it. Um, you know, with an unloaded gun, do some dra um, draws and stuff. Make sure I've got it where I want it. But that feels really good. Feels much better. It's got just the retention that I want, but also an easy draw. All right, very good.